Now, I don't know if I should upload this video, but I've been thinking and I said it's better I do. So I share what happened so the people have some idea what's what's going on in London like what what could happen as a delivery driver we working you know like the the dangerousness of the streets like as this job is like anything can, can happen we are on the road we are constantly like traveling to different destinations and delivering the orders though we deal with a lot of stuff like and what happened today like tonight I came out for work around seven o'clock and I did some couple of orders and then I took one to one place and I was driving on the road and I see one car is coming from secondary road and he was driving really fast I saw him and what the guy on the main road he stopped and he gave him away because the, the, the other guy is just cut him off and so it was driving fast and I by luck I was going to the same street as the guy was going I saw the car and then I dropped my order at the main road I dropped the order then I was turning and going to uh, nearby the restaurants to take the second order on the main street and I saw the same car uh, coming behind me and he went on the bus lane and then I saw on the bus lane was a motorbike which is was driving a bit slow and the car was like literally touching the motorbike and at some point like it just pushed the bike and the guy fell on the floor and I was behind I was with the camera and everything I was with my GoPro on top of the helmet and I was like yeah, of course I'm gonna help the guy and try and stop this guy and he was really aggressive he was aggressive and I tried to help the guy the guy was the, the other motorbike he didn't say nothing at all I think he was in shock or he was scared of the guy or something and the guy opened up the door and I was behind him I said calm down man you like uh, driving like crazy you stop you know I, I was telling him and then I said to him calm down I, I got a camera I got you on camera as soon as I said that I shouldn't have said that but yeah um, he grabbed my camera he pushed me I fell on the floor with my bike and I saw him he just run away he disappeared on a secondary road he just turned on the right and he was really busy 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 time like 8 8 30 you know like traffic everywhere the, the whole cars everything stopped he broke my 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 case as you can see here I don't know if you can see he broke my case the phone dropped everything was on the floor until I pick up the phone and I tried to chase him he just like disappeared I couldn't see where where he went I just until I pick up the bike and go to chase him it's just like I lost him and I behind me was friend of mine I called him on the phone I said let's look around where is he and he just disappeared you know it's just like we lost him and then I went back to the same place I went back to the same place it was the traffic was just flowing it was no nobody stopped the, the other guy I was hoping that he stopped the guy that he hit on the motorbike because the bike was on the floor I was hoping that he stopped or he called the police or something but nothing it was just empty you know the traffic was flowing it's a main road it's a busy road and yeah he, he didn't stop the guy he was no one there then I called the police I explained the situation but I couldn't take the the registration number the plate because I was in panic you know it's like I just remember the first three letters of the plate and I know the color of the car and everything but uh, hopefully I describe everything to the police but let's see what happens and there's a main road above me was a camera but yeah it's just like it drives me crazy when, when this thing happened and I see like the danger the, the danger that we are as a drivers you know on the road is like unexpected things happen anything could happen you know it like 
and I'm so angry that this happened but and since then I just switched off everything I switched off the delivery I came I was no I switched off the delivery and I was just driving around hoping that I'm gonna see the car maybe and take a picture of the plate or something but it just disappeared I didn't have any idea where it is and it's like you can't hide anywhere I guess he wasn't driving because we see him on the road he just pulled up somewhere in a quiet place and he just it disappeared you know and since then I was just driving half an hour around that area after I called the police hoping that I might like see him or something but nothing and then since then I've been thinking like what happened like he's still like processing in my mind like it happened so quick you know this kind of stuff like like um, stuff you're in panic and you just don't know how to react you know like happens quick and yeah I, I couldn't memorize the even the play, number plate you know so I'm not used to this kind of stuff you know it, n no use to happen to me you know like and um, I just know the color and the how the guy looks like and that's it that's pretty much it but I've been thinking like how I put myself in danger because someone as random person I was trying to help on the street that he got hit behind and I was trying to help him stop the driver and uh, like tell him that I have a camera I record him which I shouldn't have done but who knows that he's gonna just push me on the floor and still my camera is gonna run away because it was busy road I was thinking that people gonna someone's gonna help or something it was just like was in the car nobody nobody gave a hand nothing it's just like no one no one really cares I guess or would, people were scared because it was lots of cars like someone could have blocked him or something but it's just like it disappeared and I've been thinking like did I do the right thing by helping other people like someone random person and I did this way you know and I put myself in danger and I think it could, it could have been like even worse imagine the guy was like we don't know like which kind of people we're dealing with you know on the road is any kind of people like anything could happen like the guy maybe is on on drugs or is like a uh, drunk or something we don't know how, what he carries maybe he have a, like a knife or something like i shouldn't have like get close to me even like i should have stayed behind and film with the camera and that's it like don't get close to him but i wasn't expecting this to happen you know and yeah i guess like is a thing i learned now how to react in this kind of situations you know because I'm just I just put myself in danger when I think now it could have gone much worse you know my maybe the guy was like angry and he was scared and he just like did something you know what I mean yeah I mean why because of one random guy get hit behind with the car and it was a motorbike driver I guess it was like a delivery driver for sure but and what he did I was expecting at least I when I get back to the place because I've been around just for a couple of minutes not no more than five minutes I went back to the place I was expecting maybe he called the police or something because there was witnesses lots of witnesses behind cars and maybe I I said he called the police and there's cars like stopped and they got the number plate if they have a dash cam or something but nothing it, the guy just drive off I think he was on the old bike anyway and I don't know if he was scared or something but it's just like when I went back there was nothing and really like I don't know I was in I was in shock there's a couple of videos that I'm gonna put now on the exact place where I film with my cell phone because he stole my camera and I don't have any footage broke the broke my phone and everything I'm lucky that he he, he didn't get my phone I still have my phone um, yeah there's a bit of damage on the bike from the drop where he pushed me but yeah that's pretty much it i don't know what else to say i just wanna i just wanted to share this video with you so some people that they're watching like i don't know outside london or somewhere that are like 
they know what's going on the reality like what could happen on the road like if you work this kind of job because this kind of job is like i know the risk already but until you pass this kind of stuff you don't really like expect to happen to you and it did happen to me and it's not my first time i've been like different kind of stuff been happening but this is like the first like contact with someone that is like he pushed me and um, stole my stuff you know like in front of my eyes like yeah so i will take that as a as a lesson as a life lesson that i learned what to do in this kind of situations and wanted to share with you so if similar things goes on you have a camera let's say similar situation like better stay keep your distance and just record and don't don't get involved in this kind of stuff because you don't know the person that is there like what he has in, in his mind you know it's just like you, have, you can expect anything anything could happen so yeah uh, i hope i hope they catch him or at least they they find who he is and i got the reference number from the police i'm just gonna wait there's nothing to do and i'll know from now on how to react and in this kind of situations if you can share this video with other people and that will be helpful to spread the message to to other drivers to let them know the danger of the of this work that we're doing and yeah and no one no one really cares about us as a driver if we just have to take care of ourselves nobody is gonna take care of ourselves like we have to always like be ready for anything if we work in this kind of job if we work in this job you know anything anything could happen on the road so it's really risky it's really risky and i'll I'll have a different approach to this kind of stuff in the future if I continue to work for Deliveroo. I'll just... I was driving here on this road, on the main road, right here, far away on the bus lane, and one, one car in front of me. Uh, it's a small one, two, two person car, really small one. He was driving like crazy. Here, on the bus lane, he was in a rush and he hit one motorbike. And I was behind honking him for him to stop. And as soon as he stopped, he just opened the door. He was very aggressive, you know, very aggressive. And then he came out of the car. I said, stop. He tried, he started to push me. And I told him that I got a camera on the top. And then he pushed me away. He pushed me away and he grabbed my camera and he just ran away from that this road here he ran away he pushed me on the floor i was dropped down on the floor he, he ran away i called the police but let's see what happens on the main road <sighs> really i don't know what to say i don't know what to say it's crazy Look, I broke my phone holder, everything. It was on my the camera. You just take the camera like this. The camera on top. Grab. I was here on the floor, you know. Here, here. Here on the floor. And then he run away until I get up on the bike and I chase him. He just disappear, you know. It's gone. Yeah, this is a little update that I want to say um, after I thought like what could have happened there like at that moment because when I was in panic like I'm happy I'm happy that I'm like still like without any damage you know like I'm happy that nothing happened to me I'm not talking about the bike or the camera or any equipment. I'm happy that nothing happened to me because so many things could have gone wrong because we don't know the what the guy have is in mind in his mind what he's carrying and what he can do 
at that moment you know attack you or like do something on you like you can do anything and i'm happy that nothing happened and i'm all good it's just the camera that he stole and that's all like the rest is it's not that big of a deal i'm i'm fine so that's what i wanted to say and if any kind of these things happen to you like don't don't jump like me don't trying to be the good guy and help everyone like uh, even a random person even yeah i guess that it's a that's a lesson learned from me and yeah hopefully doesn't happen to no one yeah that's all i wanted to say please take care of yourself and all the best if you ha if you had any similar situation that you want to share just drop a comment below let me know if anything similar happened to you and yeah that's pretty much it take care guys